What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about conventional versus synthetic engine oil. Let's get right into this. There are still a lot of vehicles that use conventional oil. However, most vehicles that are 2019 or newer do use synthetic oil only. And it is important that if your vehicle calls for synthetic oil to use synthetic oil. But whenever it comes to older vehicles, most people do use conventional oil. A lot of shops even have conventional oil in bulk, which does make it a lot cheaper for the consumer. A conventional oil change can start somewhere around $35. That includes the filter, while a synthetic oil change is usually over $100. The additives in the synthetic oil provides better engine protection against corrosion and other engine wear. But with conventional oil, over time the engine accumulates sludge, which results in lower engine performance. Switching to full synthetic oil not only prevents your engine from generating deposits, but also cleans existing sludge in your vehicle. It is also important that once you switch from conventional oil to synthetic oil, that you stay with synthetic oil in your vehicle. In the winter with conventional oil, usually you have to start your vehicle and let it warm up before driving. That is so the oil can reach all the parts of the engine. With synthetic oil, you eliminate waiting. The oil will slow quickly and easily throughout the engine within seconds. That is also regardless of the temperature. If it is below zero or even minus 20, it is still going to be quick and easy and you don't have to wait for the engine to warm up before you drive your vehicle. Synthetic oil also has longer oil change intervals than conventional oils. Conventional oil is usually 3,000 to 5,000 kilometers, while synthetic oil you can get up to 15,000 kilometers before your next oil change. For myself, I have a 2021 Dodge Ram and I use Quaker State Full Synthetic. Usually an oil change costs me around $120 and I get it changed every 10,000 to 12,000 kilometers, which is perfect for me. Even with my last truck, my 2010 GMC Sierra, I used the same oil. It was obviously just a different velocity, but I always have used synthetic oil in my vehicles because it makes my vehicles run a lot better. Using or switching to synthetic oil will have its benefits, but it's important that if your vehicle calls for synthetic oil to only use synthetic oil. If you do have an older vehicle with a lot of kilometers, it is recommended that you also use synthetic oil and only synthetic oil. And of course, if you do have a vehicle that you always use conventional oil, switching over to synthetic oil will have its benefits, but you can't flip and flop. You can't go back to conventional oil and then back to synthetic oil every other oil change. Once you you switch over to synthetic oil, always stick with synthetic oil. Now, in my opinion, what is the best oil to use? I am always going to say full synthetic oil. It has the best benefits. In the winter, you don't have to have your vehicle run before you are able to drive it. You can instantly get in, start it, and go. And it is a lot cheaper for the oil changes when you look at it in the long run. Yes, initially, your oil changes are gonna be over $100 for the changes, while conventional is going to be around 35, like I mentioned. However, with the conventional oil, you do have to change that quite often every 3,000 to 5,000 kilometers where a conventional oil change you can get up to 15,000 kilometers and it will clean the engine using that oil compared to conventional which does create a lot of sludge. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, me sharing the difference between conventional and synthetic oil. In my opinion, I'm always gonna stay with synthetic, but I know a lot of people are 100% for conventional. Just remember, whatever you choose, if you do switch over at any time to synthetic, to stick with synthetic and don't go back to conventional and back and forth, because that in the long run will hurt your engine even worse than just sticking with conventional. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.